During the quarantine, many of us could not go anywhere. So the only solution to entertainment was to watch movies. I watch many different selections of movies, which include scary and comedy. So since Halloween is basically coming up, I wanted to put you guys into the Halloween spirit by showing you my top four Halloween movies. Number one, It Chapter One. It Chapter One is about an ancient, shape-shifting monster that emerges from the sewer every 27 years to prey on the town's children. Seven young children who live in Derry, Maine in 1989 come together over the course of the summer, having to overcome their own personal fears to battle the murderous, bloodthirsty clown known as Pennywise. It tops my list because not only am I scared of clowns, the fear this movie invokes is second to none. Make sure it is a top priority at the end of October. Number two, Annabelle Comes Home. In 1968, demonologists Ed and Lorraine Warren decide to bring the Annabelle doll to their home after claims from two nurses, Debbie and Camilla, that the doll will often perform violent activities in their apartment. Four years later, the Warrens hired Mary Ellen to babysit their young daughter, Judy, while they work on a case overnight. Mary Ellen's friend Daniela shows up uninvited to the Warren home, curious about the potential speaking to the deceased after suffering through the death of her father. This leads into Annabelle's spirit being let out, causing more havoc upon the characters. This is one of my favorite movies because suspense is built up throughout the movie, with the doll's evil presence that haunts the family. For a good scare, I highly recommend Annabelle Comes Home, but beware of her evil spirit. Number three, a quiet place. In a post-apocalyptic world, a family is forced to live in silence and hide to avoid mysterious creatures with an acute sense of hearing. Knowing that even the slightest whisper or footstep can bring death, Evan Lee and Lee are determined to find a way to protect their children while desperately searching for a way to fight back. Anyways, a quiet place comes in third because I've never seen a movie like this created. The characters legit have to find a way around the creatures without being found. Number four, The Invisible Man. Cecilia Cast is trapped in a violent, controlling relationship with a wealthy optics engineer and businessman, Andrean Griffin. One night, Cecilia drugs Andrean with diazepam and escapes his highly secure home assisted by her sister. It follows Cecilia, who believes she is being stalked by her abusive and wealthy boyfriend even after his apparent suicide. When the police refuse to believe her story, she decides to take matters into her own hands and fight back. I like this movie because it builds a lot of suspense. For example, Cecilia's ex was using technology even after she ran away before he committed suicide to torture her. Now the question you ask is how did he do it? You will just have to watch the movie to see what happens. With all the information you received from my top four movies list, I would suggest that on October 31st, if you have nothing going on, grab some popcorn and check out these movies. Signing off from PNN, I'm Javiera Gamble.